Hey guys, welcome to this new uh, pilot series thing. What I'm going to do is basically just talk about videos we see on YouTube that are aviation related and we can discuss them. I'll give you my own opinion and you can give me yours, either comments below or, I don't know, give a re video response. That way, if you're an experienced pilot, you might give me your opinion and actually your knowledge and I'll learn and other people will learn. And, uh, you know, otherwise you might be an aviation fan like myself and you'll learn something too. So today's episode, we're going to talk about an incident that involves hypoxia. Now, hypoxia is when you don't have enough oxygen going to your brain because of the thin air at altitude. And you start having some pretty bizarre symptoms, like the guy in this video, which you can see on the description link. The description on the link. <laughs> That's what I meant. In the link, uh, the video is about five minutes long, and it's the ATC recording of the air traffic controller talking to this pilot who's suffering of hypoxia. What happens is that there's an air traffic controller who's trying to talk to this pilot suffering of hypoxia. And another pilot tries to help, but it's kind of difficult to understand what the pilot suffering of hypoxia is saying because some of the symptoms of a hypoxia include slurring, slurring of the speech and very slow, slow talking. Um, and what you can see as well is that creates a kind of uh, false sense of security. And you can see this as a pilot because um, he says at one point... Uh, Unable to control altitude, unable to control airspeed, unable to control heading. Kalita 66. Other than that, everything a okay. Right, everything a okay except for the fact that you can't control the airplane. Fortunately, one of the controllers, who is Stephanie Bevins, Stephanie Bevins, uh, recognizes the symptoms and tells the controller who's actually talking to the pilot, who is. Becomes. Sorry, I didn't learn this stuff. And he immediately follows her instructions and tells the pilots to descend to a lower altitude, which is exactly what you're meant to do. And as you watch the video, um, the lower he descends, the the better the pilot talks. He starts. He stops slurring. He speaks normally, and the symptoms of hypoxia leaves when he reaches eleven thousand feet. Now, what I want to say is, I'll let you know what you guys think. Should the pilots have uh, noticed that they were feeling hypoxia beforehand and taken action before it got that bad? Um, hypoxia is actually a very difficult thing to, uh, to diagnose. But the fact is, this was a Learjet with two pilots on board. So they were MCC multi-crew uh, trained and... They, sh they had done their, their ATP exams, which involved a human factors, a human performance section, a, and a whole exam dedicated just to uh, things that pilots might experience because of their own human body. And hypoxia is definitely one of the stuff of things that is covered in that class. I think that, yes, perhaps they should have identified it before. And if they didn't, it could be some sort of indication that pilot training should involve maybe experiencing hypoxia for a short amount of time just to see what it feels like. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I am personally doing my own um, ATPL uh, distance learning and I haven't finished the whole thing but I've d covered a section of hypoxia and I, I would like to think that I would be able to recognize those symptoms if I were confronted with them. I don't know if that would be the case. I hope so. I really do, because I would not want to be in that pilot situation. So, tell me what you guys think. Do you think they should have uh, detected the situation beforehand? Do you think they could have avoided it somehow? Um, maybe some of you guys have experienced hypoxia as a pilot or as anything else, maybe a heavy smoker. Leave your opinions below or your facts below or give me a video response. Thank you very much, and don't forget to subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is your captain speaking. Uh, there's a man here. Uh, he has a face, and it's Mary. That's why they call him Mary Face. And uh, he'd really like for you to subscribe to him. So 
That'd be lovely if you could just do that. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good flight.